Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I got a question uh, today that um, it's something that we've seen in the past um, month, month and a half. Microsoft actually issued some uh, interesting statistics about Windows Update. And of course the question that came with this is, is it true that you need to have your PC connected at least eight hours on the internet for Windows Update to actually work well? and have the latest updates. And so this is um, interesting statistics that Microsoft itself has actually received from the, um, I always say that there is, um, you know, telemetry being sent to uh, Microsoft to see how Windows behaves and why things happen. And one of them is that um, Microsoft can see the machines that didn't update well, why they didn't update well, and kind of put statistics together with that. Now, one of the first things I have to say is if you've moved on to Windows 11, it seems that that time is actually much shorter um, and because the compression algorithm in, in Windows 11 is so much better, the updates are smaller, it takes less time. Uh, but here's the thing about the Windows updates. It's because one of the things that happens in Windows Update is, of course, the updates have a certain size. Now, not everybody has the fastest, greatest internet service also. Um, a lot of people will also go online and just, you know, do a few things. It's going to take a half an hour, 15 minutes, and they'll shut down their computer again. When you do very short sessions in Windows, um, it happens very often that Windows updates cannot be downloaded. And one of the things that happens with Windows updates also that I've seen happen quite a lot, you do not have Windows updates half downloads. And what I mean by that is, if you turn on your PC for 20 minutes, a update is available through Windows update. If that update needs more than 20 minutes to download, what's going to happen is that you will have a start of a download of the um, updates. But if you shut down your PC and then restart it again, you'll have to restart the download from scratch. <clears throat> so that means if you give it short sessions, if you don't have it long enough on the internet, it's possible you're missing out on updates. Once again, this depends on so many factors and it has to do with your reliability of your internet connection. It has to do with, of course, how long your PC is gonna be on. And so there's quite a lot of factors and variables that will make Windows updates work well or not. Um, I have seen over years, um, PCs that were connected and had Windows Update problems. And you, you might you know think that a Windows Update problem is because of Windows Update itself or you know Windows is, a, is having problems with Windows Updates, it's broken. <clears throat> but one of the interesting things you see as a tech guy is you notice that in a certain type of problem, and let's say Windows Update is one, I've noticed that there are some PCs, some clients that I went to fix their PCs that actually the Windows update was broken and they changed the PC for another PC and it was still broken. It was broken on every single computer that the person owned, which was not normal. And many times what I would do in the later years when I had my internet connection on my phone, I would share it with their computers to see if it makes a difference. And indeed, the quality, the speed of your internet connection has a huge effect on Windows updates working, breaking, or not updating at all. Uh, Microsoft, in its statistics, simply sees that if you are more than eight hours continuously online, the reliability of Windows Update is greatly increased. That means if you're more than eight hours online continuously, chances are your Windows Updates are working fine for the most part. 
And the shorter that time, the more problems they see with um, updates. Remember, when you get Windows updates, we, like I said, we don't have all the same quality internet connection. For some, the updates take much longer to download than others. Um, I have here the, I'm lucky to, my PC, first of all, is, is on all day. So in general, my PCs over here are all on at least from eight to 12 hours a day, at least. And so, and I've got one that actually runs 24 hours. So it, I not, never have any Windows update problems. And one of the things with this is that um, I notice how well the downloads happen. When I see a Windows update happen here, it takes very little time for it to download and then the install goes well. But I've seen some internet connectivities that takes a lot of time. I've seen Windows update take several hours to download. And of course it has to do with speed, but also has to do, I say it with the quality of the internet. The ISPs don't have all the same quality connectivity. And sometimes that might break in the middle of an update, might actually have a little something, a little glitch. And then Windows Update needs to re-download the update that already was halfway through. Um, so that's why these statistics happen. And that's why Microsoft says, well, try to be at least eight hours online for the um, updates to really happen. But um, it's not for everybody. Not everyone needs to be eight hours online. And they said that those that are too short of a time online are often those that are left behind in older Windows 10 builds that are out of date. So for some people, when they don't see that there is a new Windows that is available, sometimes it's because they just don't leave the PC turned on long enough. So it never has the chance to download one of these newer feature updates. So that's where all the statistics come from in Windows Update. Um, it's not for everybody that you need to have eight hours online straight, but some people will have more success with a computer being on longer than others for Windows updates, definitely. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.